Looks like we're good. Mary Ann Burroughs, true magic, true magic, Mary Ann Burroughs. There was a young fella named Cecil, scrawny looking little kid about 10 years old. He had big thick glasses and matted down hair. He had the word geek written all over him. And boy, the kids just picked on him unmercifully. One night, his mom decided to take him to a magic show to help lift his spirits a bit. Cecil sat in the audience in total awe of every moment of the show. And from that moment on, he lived, breathed, and stopped magic. He got a magic hat and a magic wand. He would go to bookstores and libraries and bring home anything he could find about magic and read them from cover to cover. After school, he would do his homework and then he would eat his dinner and then go directly to his room to practice magic. The weeks passed and one night after he was practicing his latest magic trick, suddenly he heard this strange sound coming from his hat. Doody, 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 doody. And he noticed that every time he practiced, it got louder and louder and louder. One night, his mom walked by his room and said, Cecil, what is that strange sound? Is it on the radio? Cecil said, um, yeah, mom, it's on the radio. About a month later, Cecil was practicing yet his latest incantation. Abracadabra, shish boom ba, yabba dabba do, when out popped his strange looking hand, grabbed him by the hand and pulled him down into the hat. He went whirling and swirling and flipping and flopping. His eyes held closed, his hands clenched. Even the hair on his head stood on end. And then he suddenly slipped down and stopped abruptly. As he sat there with his mind in a world, he wondered if he even wanted to open his eyes. But when he finally did, there stood a strange looking character. The character had big black eyes, silvery skin, and funny looking hands and feet. The creature told Cecil his name was Eknar. Eknar then gave Cecil some very strange looking candies. Cecil ate one, and oh my gosh, it was absolutely delicious, like nothing he'd ever eaten before, like from out of this world. He ate another, and then put the rest in his pocket. As he sat there trying to make sense of everything that had happened to him, Suddenly, from deep within, out came the words, take me to your leader. What did I say that for? What was I thinking? Eknar took him by the hand and walked him to another room where there stood another creature that looked just like Eknar, only he was much bigger. Cecil stood in fear. Cecil, uh, how does he know my name? Cecil, we know life has been very difficult for you, and we know that your life has been sad and lonely. We also know that you love magic. Cecil, we have brought you here today to teach you what true magic is. Cecil, do you remember the movie E.T.? when E.T.'s chest would light up? Well, Cecil, each and every one of us have a special place within where we can turn to to find peace and stillness, no matter what happens on the outside. Cecil, one day you will pull a rabbit from the hat, but do not ever forget where true magic lies. And poof! Just like that, Cecil was back in his room, staring at his hat, wondering, was this real or was this a dream? And then he remembered, 
he put his hand in his pocket. And there were the magical candies from out of this world. And from that moment on, Cecil always had a smile on his face because he knew that no matter what happened on the outside, he could always turn to that special place within where true magic lies. And the leader was right. One day, abracadabra, shish, boom, ba, Cecil did pull the rabbit from the hat. Madam Contest Chair. <laughs>